In bipolar disorder, uh, we have to know about uh, three type of episodes. One is manic episode, second one is hypomanic episode, and third one is depressive episode. Depressive episode we have already covered in depression, so I'm not going to tell you again. But I will talk about now hypomanic episode. Uh, as the name indicates, symptoms are the manic episode, ki hai, but the severity is lesser than what you see in manic, full-fledged manic episode. And number two, also the days, duration of, duration is also less. Um, manic episode ke andar duration comes from ek week tak persistently elated mood hona chahiye. Ya baki jitne bhi symptoms humne dekhni, dekhi hai, unki combination mein nazar aana chahiye. Um, whereas in hypomanic episode, distinct period of abnormally and persistently elevated expensive or irritable mood, similar as manic episode, and abnormally and persistently increased goal-directed activity or energy, as is common with manic episode. So symptoms usi ki hai, uh, but duration is for four consecutive days. Um, now if we look at the diagnostic criteria, it is also more or less same as is for manic episode, that is in three of the following symptoms, that is inflated self-esteem or grandiosity, decreased need for sleep, more talkative than usual or pressure of keep talking, flight of ideas or subjective ex experience that thoughts are racing and I have to actually communicate with others about those thoughts, then distractibility. So if you the diagnostic criteria, more or less way hai jo manic episode ka hai lekin abhi hum dekhenge ki difference kahan aa raha hai so um, another feature is increase in goal directed activity or psychomotor agitation excessive involvement in activities that have a high potential for painful consequences and it is associated with change in functioning that is uncharacteristics of an individual when not symptomatic. So, when uh, in a normal uh, phase, it is not a normal phase, it is not a normal phase, it is not a normal phase. The disturbance in mood and the change in functioning are observable by others. Dusre, they can say that this person, now this person is a different, in different phase and his activity has been enhanced and increased. Uh, however, there is a difference in severity. Ke severity is not causing impairment, marked impairment in functioning or it doesn't necessitate hospitalization. Whereas in when the patient is in manic phase, you definitely have to hospitalize or take, well, directly you have to work on the patient, otherwise you can't control the patient. Here, the patient ki jo severity of symptoms hai, wo itni nahi hoti ki uski hospitalization ki zarurat pade, na hi wo uski functioning ko bozada incapacitate ya effect kar rahi hoti hai. If there are psychotic features, uh, just may hallucinations hain ya delusions hain, grandiosity ki feeling to hain, lekin agar wo uh, uske andar psychotic features nazar a jayen, in this particular case, so then you will not define, you, you will not diagnose them as hypomanic patient or with the hypomanic um, episode, rather you will put them in manic category, that is manic episode. Um, also the episode is not attributed, attributable to physiological effect of a substance. So the major difference between manic episode and hypomanic episode is of severity. कि इस बाकी सारी सिम्टम्स हुई हैं लेकिन सिवेरिटी इतनी नहीं है कि उसकी डेली या बाकी जितनी भी फंक्शनिंग हैं लाइक सोशल है कॉपेशनल है और एकेडमिक है उसके ऊपर इंपैक्ट आए एंड सेकंड वन इस ड्यूरेशन के वो मैनिक एपिसोड हैज टू बी फॉर वन वीक इन आर्डर टू बी डायग्नोस्ड इन हाइपोमैनिक एपिसोड इट्स फॉर फोर डेज